so we're talking about matrix equality. Now, what I'm about to say is so obvious, it barely should be mentioned, but I think I just need to say it. Two matrices are equal if and only if they have the same order. They're the same size. So a two by three matrix would have to see another two by three matrix. They possibly could be equal. Now, I'm not saying that these two matrices must be equal, but I'm saying maybe they're equal because they have the same order. Whereas, these two matrices definitely aren't equal because they have different orders. So they can only be equal if they have the same order. The other thing that's important is every element within the two matrices has to be exactly the same. You can see here, all the elements are exactly the same. So those two matrices are equal. But if I was to swap two of the elements, even though all the elements are still there, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they are in different orders. They're not in the same positions. Therefore, these two matrices are not all that was really obvious, uh, but now we've got these two matrices here. We want to calculate the values of x and y. Now, it's pretty straightforward because we've got this x sitting here, and it's corresponded with this element in an equal matrix. So we can say, therefore, x equals 2. The next bit's probably a little more complicated. We've got y here. We've got 2x minus y here. So then we can say that um, y equals 2x minus y. Um, now we can say, well, we know that x is equal to 2, so we can sub that in there. So we can say that y equals 2 times 2 minus y. So y equals 4 minus y. Um, now moving that y over, we get 2y equals 4, and therefore y equals 2. All right, therefore x equals 2 and y equals 2. So there are the values of x and y. You can come up with all sorts of other puzzling ways to do that, ones that sort of force you to do simultaneous equations and things like that, but that is matrix equality, very straightforward.